Hey guys, today we're doing something very risky. Because um, I'm probably going to get killed by my dad for doing this. Um, but I'm going to paint my guitar. And I'm going to paint this guitar. And it's my very first guitar that I ever got. Um, it's covered in dust. Because uh, I haven't been using this for like more than six years probably. Um, yeah. It sounds rubbish. Like, if you just doesn't sound good and yeah it it had only has five strings I lost the other one um, and I don't have any new strings to fix it I don't want to fix it because like it's so false it doesn't doesn't sound good at all um, so yeah I thought why not risk my life and paint this one because my dad really doesn't like it if I like do anything with my guitar other than playing on it so um yeah I'm very curious what he's gonna think of this. Um, yeah, we're gonna paint this, and I'm sorry for the background noise. I don't know what they're doing outside, but it's very annoying. I tried to keep it as limited as possible, but if you hear something, then it's from outside. And um, yeah, let's paint this thing. I should first start by um, cleaning my guitar because it's like covered in dust, and I'm using this one for it. Um, I use this to clean all my guitars because they collect dust like crazy. Like, you put them in your room for two days and there's like dust on them and I'm like, why? So that's the first thing I'm gonna do and since this one has been in my room for like over six years doing nothing but um, laying around, um, it has collected quite some dust. So I'm just gonna start by cleaning that off. Okay, so I think I've claimed the majority of it right now. Um, it could be that there's some dust left, but you know, I try my best. I can't do it any better. So um, right now, I think I'm gonna sketch some things out and just try and paint them. Um, my idea is to make like a floral pattern because I really love flowers and um, yeah, I would love to have them on my guitar. And I figure that they're the least um, hard to paint. So. I'm just gonna try and do that. I searched on Google for some examples and I found some really cool ones. Well, I found this one and I love it. I love it so much. Um, it looks amazing. And I also really like this one with the flowers around the um, hole. I guess I'm gonna start with the easy flower or the flower that I think is the easiest to paint, um, which I guess is this one. Um, I think I need to start with like getting rid of this, so I think I'm gonna paint it white. Um, I think that's the easiest thing to do right now to get rid of it, because I don't know if it will show through the other colors if I paint it there, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. Okay, so I just put the camera on my back and I'm trying to show you the best as possible. I'm just gonna sit here and yeah, just painting this one. I probably have to do two layers, maybe three of them, because, you know, as you can see, the paint doesn't really show up that well. Okay, so I guess I finished the first layer of it. You can still see the pattern underneath it, but I'm gonna leave it to dry right now. I'm gonna wait something like five minutes and then go over it again. Um, I hope it dries fast, because I want to do this today and I don't wanna wait like a night. When I want to paint like under here, I'm gonna squeeze the strings together so that I can get in between them. It's probably not really good for the strings, but if you don't want to take them out, this is a way you can try to come 
they're in between the two of them and there's a lot of pain. I would not recommend leaving your strings in because you get a lot of pain in there. So it took the paint a very long time to dry, so it's still not dry yet. So <clears throat> yeah, I decided to start with the button. Um, I drew these like shapes here and yeah, I'm now filling one of them in to see if it looks good or not. And to see if I have to change something. Um, I'm still waiting for it to dry, so I think I'm gonna get my blow dryer and try to dry it that way. And at this point, I was just getting got a board of painting flowers, so I was fading with the strings. In the meantime, the white paint was fully dried, and I decided to draw on um, it for my flowers. At this point I already had paint all of my flowers on the control but I didn't really like the white layer that was underneath them so I decided to take my pencil and draw some more flowers and leaves um, just to fill it up and to cover up the white. The last thing that I did was outlining my flowers and leaves and it just makes them look a lot better. So uh, I am done and this is the end result. I think that it looks pretty nice. Um, the paintings aren't that good, I admit it. But for the first time doing something like this, I think they're really good. I really like making it. Um, I hope you like seeing me doing this. I'm so sorry once again for changing the camera angle so many times. Uh, it's probably going to look horrendous in the edit. Um, but yeah. This is my first time doing something like this. If you like seeing me do this um, and you're like, hey, I want to know what this made up to, I want to know what she does and what kind of videos she makes, then hit subscribe. You can do that by clicking the red button under this video um, and hit the bell icon so you won't miss out anytime I post a video. I noticed that a lot of the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed. So if you like what you're seeing, you can subscribe. It's totally free and um, you will get a video every once in a while from me, um, videos like this, videos about music, videos about mental health um, or other struggles that happen in life. Um, so yeah, I guess I will see you in my next video, hopefully, and um, stick around watch some other videos of me, I would love that, and yeah, have fun, have a nice day, I love you guys.